gas let by test. How important is it really? My name is Richard Firth. I'm in one of the extensive workshops here at Viva Training. And I've got a very special trainer for you to give you the lowdown on the let by test. No further ado, I hand you over to Pete Indle. Thanks for that, Richard. My name's Pete. Welcome to Viva Training. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this. This uh, video is about let by testing. And it's not aimed at experienced or conscientious engineers, because you should all know how to do a let by test. This is aimed at people, for whatever reason, decide not to do it and what they could be missing. So a little video might help them out just to show them what they could be missing. Right, so what is a let by test? What is it for? It is to make sure that this PCB shuts off. If this doesn't shut off, it's going to invalidate your tightness test completely. And we're going to prove that here today. So the next thing we're going to do is tightness test on this. So what I'm going to use is a Reagan gauge purely just because it's a brilliant gauge I do like these uh, easy to see easy to read you could use digital you could use an ordinary water gauge uh, but this will show up better on camera so what we're going to do is our first test which is a let by test it only takes 60 seconds to do a let by test why people don't do it I just don't know because 60 seconds is no we need to connect gauge up. Let's go right up. Yes, is off. Between seven ten millibars. And we're going to monitor it for one minute. Let me stop what's going. Any rise above our perceptible movement, which is 0.25 millibars, is an indication that could be let by. So after a minute, we'll have a look at this, and I'm at about nine and a half, nine and a half millibars. Right, minutes gone by. I suspect we might have let by. So I'm gonna to have to test it. I'm gonna to have to prove that we have got it. Uh, let by, obviously, this valve ain't shutting off properly. So now we're gonna disconnect the anaconda and I'm gonna spray up inside the barrel to see if it's like indeed bubbling. But the first thing before I do that, there's probably some that not everybody uses, but they should do, is I'm going to connect these. They're not nipple clamps. These are TCBs or temporary continuity bonds. Trust me, you won't want them in your nipples. Okay, so we're going to connect it up. Like so. to be mega 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 tight just tight enough not to leak all right take a new put a new washer on it when i'm done all right so i'm going to spray up inside this barrel here and take a look at it and see if we can see it all bubbling We've proved that we have got let by, we've seen it bubbling, we've seen a pressure rise. So what you don't know is there is actually a gas leak on this installation. It's been masked by the let by, and we've set this up to show our trainees 
how important let by testing is. Make sure that you always do your full let by, stabilisation and tightness testing. And until next time, adios.